Hey everybody, um, Stacy here. Um, I'm doing a resin beach pour, and um, I'm gonna kind of hurry because I'm dealing with resin here and it's really hot. So I hope it's not doing that super heating thing like the last batch did. Uh, so let's just get going and I'll talk while I pour. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got a mess over here. Okay, um, all of these except one, um, are two, excuse me, are, um, just pigment. Um, I'm fixing to add. I just noticed that this pigment right here, it doesn't have quite enough pigment in it. And I can't ever, you can't add pigment and have it really be effective once you've already poured the bulk of your resin in your cup. You have to put it in when you have just a little bit of resin. So I just added some Prussian blue paint to this. And, uh, that will, uh, that will work. <laughs> See how pretty that is? Ooh. So this one's pigment and paint. Um, and, uh, it's Persian blue. It did have some other pigment in it. I don't remember which one. Um, but it, <laughs> I didn't get enough in it. Does that make sense what I'm talking about? When I mix my pigments, I put the pigment in the cup. I put about that much resin in the cup. I mix it. Then I add the bulk of the resin and mix it. Because if you put all of your resin in the cup and then add your pigment to all of your resin, your pigment is going to be um, dim. It's not going to be its vibrant, you know, shade. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but I promise you. It is a true fact. So it works a lot better um, if you do it like I was saying. Um, oh, stuff is in my way. And uh, th that, okay, so you got Prussian Blue is the top pigment. And that other one is Sapphire um, by uh, Color Art. Um, I mean, this is some, um, uh, oh, geez, I can't think. Um, teal there. Oh, man, that other one didn't work out. It, uh, turned into a brick. I hate that. I don't know why that happens sometimes. No matter how carefully you mix, sometimes... You know, resin just is so fickle. You know, no matter how carefully you mix, it'll screw up. And that is what happened to that other color. It turned into a brick. I knew it was overheated. Uh, oh well, we'll carry on. Um... tell you what I'm going to do about that in just a second. Oh, that one worked up too. Damn it. That was my purple. Oh. Well, it didn't all work up. I got some in here that's going to be usable. I don't know why. Oh, it's so hot I can't hardly hold it, but it's okay. We can still get something out of that. I don't know why sometimes that happens. It uh, it overheats. And all my Prussian blue, where it went, 
I'm having a hard time today. All my personal blue apparently went off the side. Um, it's not going so well today. <laughs> not for me. And that's a gummy, nasty mess. But I hope it'll, as long as it hardens, it'll be fine. And, um... <clears throat> It seems like that happens more if you mix larger quantities. You know, it doesn't happen as much when I mix just like a cup of resin. But the larger the quantity, the more of a chance you run on that happening. And this is how I accommodate for it when it happens. I throw a little fit like I just did. And then I um, use what I can and uh, and there we go. What I'm going to do is in a minute I'm going to mix up some more just like a cup. And it's going to be that aquamarine, the color I lost, that was meant to go right here. And then I'll pour it on. Now as far as this goes... Um, See, it's already trying to get all congealed, and I'm just gonna kind of move it around. Oh, make some little wavy motions in it. And then I'm going to, you know, I'll pour this again tomorrow anyway. I'm going to put another coat. So this is just coat number one. So, I mean, if you're going to have a screw up, it's better for it to happen on coat number one. Um, and now, this is real sand um, that I put there. Um, and that is um, done by... Um, Getting, uh, you buy the sand like at Hobby Lobby or whatever, and, um, you mix it with some glue. And, uh, I used the clear kind this time because I have some of that that I'm not using for anything else. But I guess you can use either kind. And, uh, you mix it with the glue, and, uh, then you spread it on there and let it dry. And it usually, um, sometimes I put polyacrylic over it just to give it a coating because, um, but it will, you don't have to, I don't think. I think you can just leave it like this. Because, see, it, you know, it's on there. Um, it's stuck together. You know, I can lift that up and it won't go anywhere. Um, it looks powdery like sand, but it, see, it's, you know, fairly solidified. It needs to sit overnight. But, um, anyway, um, uh, that's how I did that. And, uh. I have to do this in a hurry because I'll set off a smoke alarm. Okay. Now, um, so I'm going to mix up another batch and come back and just put it over this part. So, um, I'll tune y'all in on the second. Bring you in on the second half. Alright? I'll see y'all shortly.